Hello everyone. Today I will introduce how to realize page overlay. Let's watch a video first. Send instruction to demonstrate the first case. Send instruction to demonstrate the second case. Part 1 is to understand the software setting. There are four main functions used here. The first synchronity return. This part the 2 byte data of the upper address is given to the variable's address. The icon page ID to be superimposed is 2. The address here is the initial value that needs to be given. This is address that need to write the overlay page ID. Again, we need to give it an initial value. We need to write this value. This is system variable interface address. The second we need to use the data variable display function to set initial value. This part needs to be consistent with the parameter set earlier. It can default to 2. But the initial value is 5 digits, and 5 is set here. Decimal is used here. Similarly, the other part also needs to set the corresponding initial value. Among them, this is the decimal of 5 is 0, 0, which represents turning on the page overlay function and does not respond to the touch of the overlay page. That is the second case of our video. The third is variables icon display. It is in the user address range. Select icon file. Select the icon. When setting another icon, just change the address and select the corresponding icon. The last is animation icon. This part need to be in the user address range. It cannot conflict with another address. Stop value 0, start value 1. Select the stop icon. Play a set of icon IDS corresponding to the start end of the animation. My icon ranges from 0 to 2, and selecting 3 will show a flashing effect. Select reset to show a flashing effect. Corresponding to the start value, the status of the power on display. Next comes the demonstration section. Open Diga software. Create a new project. Choose the corresponding resolution. Choose the file path. Add the background images. These three white images are for the presentation of icons and realize the overlay function. The last one is to set the initial value. Return the welcome interface. Click ICL generator. Select directory. Name it 32 and save it into an SCT folder. It is also necessary to generate the icon as an ICL file. We could name it 15 and put it on to an SET folder. Now start to make the project. Click Basic Touch. Select the page we need to switch. Here I just set it according to my needs. Here I make the same step. Click Synchrony to return. Choose the area of touch. 
set parameters. The icon that needs to appear after clicking is on the ID page too. Turns on the page overlay function and responds only to touches of overlay pages. These two sections set the initial values on the last page. The same function is set up here, and this is the second case of the video demonstration. Here the icon that needs to appear after clicking is on the ID page 4. Turns on the page overlay function and does not respond to touches of overlay page. These two parts also need to set the initial values. Next set variables icon display on the third page. The first icon needs to appear. Frame the display area. Set the corresponding parameters. Only the first icon needs to appear here. Here the icon appears. Again the synchrona to return function is required. Set the corresponding parameters. The icon that needs to appear after clicking is on the ID page 3. Again, the variables icon display function needs to be set on the ID page 3. Set a different address. Select the second icon that appears. Here, in order to facilitate the effect of the alarm pop-up, I directly use the synchrona to return function. You could write code based on your machine. The icon that needs to appear after clicking is on the ID page 4. Next, set the animation icon function on ID page 4. It is to set the alarm icon in the video on this page. Set a different address. Select the alarm icon. The setting of 3 is to achieve a flickering effect. This is consistent with the start value. Use the return key code function on the reset button to turn off the overlay function. Set the key value on variable's address. Finally, we need to use the data variable display function to set the initial value on the last page. Set the corresponding value for the previous address. The integer digits is set to 5. The initial value is to use decimal. Because this part of the initial value can default to 2 when it is a single digit. Click Save and Generate. Put these files into the Dwin SCT folder and download the folder to screen.
Today's teaching content is all over. Thanks for watching.